Greetings folks for show and tell today we have the FR Sky L, L9R receiver which is the longer range normal receiver from FR Sky. In the specs it says that this will give you roughly twice the range of the normal X series receivers. These are my standard receivers the X6R, X9, uh, X8R and the X4R. They give amazing range. Uh, I have actually tested it out to three kilometres, uh, which was the absolute limit in perfect conditions. But for normal normal use, uh, more than 1.5 k's is to be expected. In really, really noisy conditions, noisy uh, radio frequency conditions, you may get less than that. But um, just amazing receivers with rock solid uh, connection and very good range. So this one is even longer range. In theory, this should work out to five kilometres or so which unfortunately is outside the guidelines of our local aviation authority, so I won't be able to show you how far the range can go with this one. Uh, but for normal flying around, even in noisy conditions, it's going to have very, very good reception, rock solid connection. Let's go through the finer points of this L9R receiver. There are some differences uh, to the way you program up and, and set fail safe and things like that compared to the X-series receivers. It doesn't have telemetry, although it does have an RSSI out, analog RSSI out. You have to set the fail safe on the receiver, you can't set it via the transmitter. And when you're programming in this receiver on the transmitter, you have to select the LR12 mode. It's a nine channel receiver, or it's got nine normal PWM outputs. Uh, but you can get 12 channels via SBUS. So my thoughts are, because it doesn't have uh, telemetry, this would be perfect for connecting to uh, a flight controller board and using an FPV camera that has the voltage uh, on-screen display. That way you don't need the uh, FR Sky telemetry. This was provided by Banggood for the review, so thanks very much Banggood, and check the description down below for the um, purchase link. It does have a decent manual, this is the one I've downloaded from the FR Sky site and uh, tells you all the specs. The operating voltage is uh, 4 volts to 10 volts, which is a nice range. Just remembering that although the receiver can handle 10 volts, your servos won't be able to handle 10 volts, so not recommended to put 10 volts through this one. All right, so let's have a closer look. Here's the manual inside. And we get these um, printed circuit board or PCB antennas, which is kind of good for mounting, but you sort of have to be careful uh, that they don't get caught on things. They can be weak points here and here. Just have to be a bit careful handling them. So we have a fail-safe button here and a binding button, indicator LED there. We have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight there. Channel 9 down here, S bus down here, and we have the RSSI connector there. Negative goes down, so the signal wire is on the top line here. And on the bottom two, the, the, the negative is on the outside, so signal wire on the inside. So signal wires go up and in. Now, if you're using the uh, XJT module in a different radio uh, to connect to the L9R, you need to have switch 1 off, switch 2 on to put it into LR9, LR12 mode. I'm going to use this receiver on my Pixel 3, which is set up with iNav. So I'll go into bind. Uh, now, first thing we have to do is we have to, in the mode, we have to Choose LR12, there we go, LR12. Put it into bind mode. A five volt battery here. With a little switch on it. So I need to push down on the fail safe button. Apply power, we get the red flashing light there, which tells us it's bound. Cycle all the power. Turn it on again and green light indicates that we are successfully bound. That was easy. Now for INAV boards you need to uh, select no pulses for the fail safe. To do that, 
turn the transmitter off. Push the fail safe button, you get a couple of flashes and that should have set it to no pulses. Now to set the fail safe in a different way if you're not using a flight control board uh, you can also do it manually uh, and what you do is have both of them powered on, transmitter and receiver, that's bound OK. Uh, and you put the controls in the position that you want. If you're using another flight control board like the Bigoli board or something like that you would need to set the throttle percentage where you want it and push the board, uh, push the fail safe button and you'll get two flashes. Uh, for other situations you might want zero throttle, a little bit of left aileron, a little bit of black back elevator, push the button, a couple of flashes then you're right. Uh, but what I want is no pulses so I'm going to reset it back to no pulses so we turn everything off, turn the receiver on by itself, push the fail safe, a couple of green flashes then we're set. I'm just going to swap out, I've got an X8R receiver on the Bixler here, uh, it's a bit of a waste really, I'm just running on an S bus so I could, don't really need that. Uh, so S bus down the bottom here, there we go, that's correct. Now connect up a battery. So that's all looking good, it's just working like a normal receiver. Oh, there we go. So I've got voltage on screen from the uh, Sparrow FPV camera there. I've only got six satellites so far, so I probably haven't got... And oh, there we go. We're good to go. Excellent. Well, all we have to do is take it out for a fly and um, see how good the connection is, if not how far I can fly. Alright, time to fly it out in the field. Fail safe on. Ah, oh, now we're right, ready to go. So there we go, seems to be working just like a normal receiver. Make sure my fail safe is working. Yeah, that's working well. That's coming back. I'm happy now, I can fly. Manual, Manual mode. Oh, it's flying perfectly well. No dramas at all. This stage it looks just like the X8R receiver. All the INAV stuff's working. Just so that I can be confident that I won't be losing signal anywhere. Oh, there we are up there. Cruising around nicely. Down safely. Very good. Ignition on. So that's all working as it should. Just like a Feels like a normal receiver. Works perfectly well with uh, omnibus board running INAV, omnibus uh, F4 Pro V2. 
fair bit of wind around today as usual. It's been bobbled around a fair bit. So this is the L9R FR Sky long range receiver from Banggood. Works nicely. Thanks for watching. See you again.